Now we turn to Namibia. It's a country in southern Africa, home to about 3 million people and apparently billions of barrels of oil. A new discovery has been made there by the Portuguese energy company Galp Energia. They say they found huge oil deposits off the coast of Namibia. How huge? About 10 billion barrels. This is the latest oil discovery in offshore Namibia this year. A few months ago, another energy giant, other energy giants rather, struck oil as well. Britain's Shell and France's Total Energies. Everything put together, Namibia is now estimated to hold at least 21 billion barrels of oil, which might give it the third largest oil reserves in Africa after Libya and Nigeria, and 15th largest in the world. And this may just be the beginning. These latest discoveries have all come from here. The Orange Basin, it's located near Namibia's southern coast, near South Africa. The entire region is being explored by energy giants from around the world. These firms have carved up the area and they are frantically searching for oil. So far, Shell, Total and now Galp have struck oil, but America's Chevron is also in the hunt. So are Australia's Woodside and South Africa's Rhino Resources. So we may keep hearing about new discoveries and Namibia may become the next big thing in oil because the Orange Basin is just one area being explored. There are a number of other potential hotspots, both offshore and inland. So in some time, Namibian oil may be fueling all our, our, our vehicles, but it'll take years for that to happen, probably decades, because what you're seeing right now is the initial phase, the exploration, that's almost the easy part. After that, the oil needs to be drilled, drilled, sold, and transported. It will take years to set up that infrastructure. The initial batch of Namibian oil won't flow till at least 2029, so at least another five years, and that is what analysts are predicting. And even then, it will start off as a trickle. By 2035, it is expected to produce 380,000 barrels a day, 3,80,000 barrels per day, which doesn't really compare to major oil-producing nations. Look at the numbers from December 2023. The U.S. produced 13.3 million barrels of oil, Russia 10.1 million, Saudi Arabia about 9 million, so even if Namibia exceeds all expectations, oil output may just cross a million barrels per day initially, which makes it a promising new entrant, but not a major oil exporter. That also means expectations should be tempered. The discoveries in Namibia won't bring down your petrol prices, not for, for the next few decades at least. And they also won't turn the country rich overnight. It won't suddenly become the next Dubai or Saudi. That takes years of expansion, and, um, and Namibia will also have to avoid corruption. The country's oil fields are being explored by foreign companies, Shell, Total, Galp, and all the others. Galp controls 80% of the new fields it discovered. Namibia State Oil Company owns 10%, and another Namibian company has the remaining 10%, meaning eight out of every $10 will go to Galp. Namibia's state oil firm has signed similar deals with all the foreign oil companies, so if it is not careful, it may not see the profits from the resources anytime soon. The first cut may go to the West instead, and Namibia could be forced to make do with scraps. But if that is avoided, it's a great opportunity for the nation. And for India as well. India is home to the largest oil refinery in the world. African oil from Nigeria and Angola already comes to India for refining. Namibia could become another partner, bringing jobs and development to both nations. But again, this is getting ahead of ourselves. First, let us hope that Namibia truly benefits from its newfound resources.